Hello, YouTube family. This is Trina back with another art demo. Today I'm going to be making impressions of this Magnolia photo that I took a very long time ago. I thought I would try to do something a little bit more realistic. Um, I haven't done that in a while and it's always something I like to do. Um, I'm going to be using my Boku Undo Dark Color set, which I haven't really played with very much besides making the swatching, which I will leave a link if you haven't seen that um, video up above. So I'm starting with this red, very light color. Um, I'm not sure how abstract this is going to get, but we'll see. I'm just going to play and try to make some marks and play with these colors I and mean, I like the the uh, one thing that I know about these paints is that they need to be very watered down to keep them from going dark which is um, really easy to do quite easily if you add too much of the pigment in and I want to keep this pretty um, light and use the colors in the palette here i'm adding in some blue and i'm not going to copy this exactly obviously it's just for reference to try to give the impression of these magnolias which is one of my favorite flowers i mean i i look forward every spring when i get to go take photos of them um this photo was shot with my lens baby uh, lens which is a tilt shift lens so that's how you get those beautiful that beautiful bokeh in the background and the blurry lines um, so depending on how this turns out I might do a few more of these I mean I really I enjoy trying to paint in a somewhat realistic manner um, it never ends up that way uh, my abstract brain just takes over and um, for this piece I think I was pretty successful in containing myself I did decide to use a small brush and I'm using my um, Japanese uh, watercolor brush ink brush here um, adding in some greens and some bluish grays to the background I'm not sure how I'm going to treat the background I think I just want it to be uh, abstract um, I like the shapes of the flowers and the petals so really just adding in really small layers of color um, creating texture and line throughout this is a really fun way to um, remind, remind myself to go back and look at things that I've done before and to revisit some of my photos that I have taken in the past. Um, it's also, I find, uh, a very concerted effort by me. I mean, I have to really concentrate um, and think about what I'm doing here because when I paint abstractly, it's almost like it just comes very natural to me doing something like this where I'm trying to uh, create something that looks like what I'm painting is takes a lot of my energy in my mind and it also I want to make it look like my own work I don't want it to be just a hyper realistic portrait of magnolias because I took the photo so I don't need to do a painting that looks exactly like that so um, you'll see here in a minute I'll start adding in 
uh, it gets a little bit more designy and I really like these little dots that I made um, just trying something different and you can see that I've pretty much not looking at the sketch at the paint the excuse me the photograph anymore and that's probably going to be better for the overall concept of it is that when I stop looking at what I'm painting it will turn into what it's supposed to turn into which is an impression of magnolias um, adding in some uh, abstract petals to kind of give it a little bit more uh, the composition a little bit more cohesion I wish that I would have started maybe a little lower on the page because I've got a lot of blank empty space down there at the bottom that I don't really like starting to add in more darker colors into this um, I tried to keep it light and airy but uh, these paints I just want to paint like really really dark so if you're new to my channel um, don't forget to like and subscribe tomorrow I'm going to be going live at 2 p.m. Central to do some mark making on some four by four pieces of paper um, here I am adding in my Higgins marker to make some really dark lines so that'll be fun tomorrow for the uh, the live I hope some of you can join me um, hopefully I will be able to manage to get it right this time here I'm adding some just sort of large abstract impressions of the petals with some lines and just filling in adding in some color so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this a little different tutorial for me a little different demo and I will see you in the next one thanks so much bye